my great friends i hope you are doing very great it's a beautiful evening here and uh today i would like just to let you know that we are actually introducing um we are introducing multiple choice questions we are introducing multiple choice questions that is as physics 9702 multiple choice questions paper one at uh, learn physics with ibm so uh this is not a video of solving past multiple uh choice questions but just to let you know how you are going to find them how you are going to access these multiple choice questions so that you can uh print maybe per, top, per, per topic these are organized per topic but they will not be answered in the order of the topics I'll start with the um those with a few multiple choice questions I will start with topics with a few multiple choice questions and then proceed with those most important topics they will come at the end such as uh, waves uh, electricity kinematics dynamics those will come at the end so this is how you are going to access the multiple choice questions go to your uh, I'll use somebody's uh, I'll use somebody's I'll use somebody's uh, account uh, to access my YouTube channel so this is somebody's account so you just simply go to youtube uh, when you go to your youtube account you will actually see uh you'll open videos hello so friend. i don't want these videos to play so i'll um i'll go to the channel here i'll just search the channel here learn physics learn physics with ibm so the channel is is here Learn physics with IBM. So this is the channel. So you can subscribe. This person has not yet subscribed. So you can subscribe. But then when you open the uh, the previous videos or the latest videos like this one here, you open the latest video such as electricity. So when you open that video, when you go down to the video description, you'll go down to the video description here. You see you'll see links you will see links in the video description and there is a link which uh, allows you to open to to open uh, the past the paper two past paper questions so this you can open copy this and paste in your browser or you just click it that one opens automatically but i'm not interested in that one i'm interested in the second one which is going to be the multiple choice questions it's the second link so when you click on that link it also opens uh it opens actually a file it opens a file with uh the multiple choice questions uh, per topic as you can see here so um all you need to do is to download any of them that you want to study or that you want to concentrate on at the moment you just click on download and it will immediately it will, after analyzing for the antivirus it will it will just download so when it downloads you already have the topic there here it is downloading or it may not download automatically on your computer but you can still go there down there although this is in uh, french but this is download so you just click there and download so once you are done with downloading you just go into your downloads and maybe print you may not always print uh, for multiple choice questions you may not necessarily print the document if you're not interested in printing you can still have it in hard copy because if you follow the videos that is if you have two de devices maybe uh, you can follow the videos with the document opened and you can uh, actually circle the answer in the case you have finished to understand how you arrive at the answer just for reference there is a simpler way of actually uh, uh, circling the answer without necessarily without necessarily printing this document but if you are interested in printing you can still print however somebody may just decide to highlight or you may just decide to okay you may simply decide to uh, to put a tick 
you just click on that hand which I've clicked on. You may simply decide to put a tick on what you think is the correct answer. So you come here and select the tick. So when you are going through the videos, you can just uh, tick and say, okay, wh which property of the alpha particle changes as a result of the deflection? They said an alpha particle passes close to the gold nucleus and is deflected through an angle greater than 90 degrees. Which property of the alpha particle changes as a result of the deflection? Charge does not change. A nuclear number does not change. Proton number does not change. What changes is momentum. So you put a tick there. So when you put a tick, you can now proceed to the next equation. You can go to the next question. Let's say the answer for the next question is A. I'm not saying it is A. Let's say, okay, a nucleus of uranium 3892 decays in stages by emitting an alpha particle or alpha particles and beta minus particles, eventually forming a nucleus of uh, lead 206 and 82. How many alpha particles and how many uh, beta minus particles are emitted during the decay? So, of course, I cannot, I, my pen is not available, I would have used it here. But uh, when you solve this question, or if the, solve, the question has been solved in the video and you realize that the answer is, say, let's say it is, it is B, or it is A, you just put a tick. Let's say you have ticked many uh, all the questions in this document, you have put a tick on the correct answer, and you want this to act as a reference next time when you are going through this same topic. So just go to file to save and save this document with those ticks. So you again save. You again save. And you will simply save this as solved. Okay, I will save this under my documents, physics. So this time you will say this is solved. Solved, let's say atomic physics. Solved atomic physics. So... When you go through the document, you watch the video up to the end, you are actually putting a tick on the correct answer. So, but you want to keep the document with the correct answers for reference in the future. So just say, uh, save, you click on, remember how I clicked on the file here to save? Then you go to save and save the document. So this time the document will be saved with those ticks for, uh, near the correct answer. So that next time when you are revising, it becomes very easy for you to revise. I think that is that is clear. So see you in the solved past paper questions, and I think I will start with atomic structure and particle physics in uh, in the first video. All the best. Bye bye.